All right, let's keep it moving. So, I want to move to the next subject, and that's when you look at the Browns' defense, right? We talked about the defensive line already today. Doesn't seem like they have any obvious roster spots. You look at the secondary for the Browns. Doesn't seem like there's any obvious roster spots. They got a lot of players, both safety and defensive back. Mm -hmm. The one position group on defense where they don't have a lot of proven talent is linebacker. Obviously, they just added Jordan Hicks. Mm -hmm. They have JOK. The only other linebacker on the roster right now that was drafted, period, is Tony Fields, who, you know, that guy could easily be gone, too. Yeah. So they really only have two legitimate linebackers on the roster. Now, that. we understand the Browns don't maybe value linebacker that highly. And just in general in the league, the position is less valued than it was in the past. And you don't have to have a ton of, you know, linebackers. But mm-hmm. you need more than two guys that can play. And so that's a position, I think, not a desperate need because they have two good linebackers. But whether it's still free agency or the draft, linebacker is where they have the most spots available on the roster. And one of – go ahead. No, no, you're getting to it. I thought yeah. you were going to ask him a question. I'd say don't forget Devin Bush. That's what I'm getting to. That's a long buildup, Mike. I'm doing a long buildup. So Devin Bush <laughs> – Two hours to fill. Yeah. <laughs> Devin Bush is a guy who may be able to... We know the Browns lost two linebackers in free agency. They've added one. Could they be adding a second? Devin Bush, a one-time first-round pick of the dreaded Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, meeting with the Browns today. You know we're past the main crux of free agency when the when guys are starting to meet with teams. Because the, the most of the top 100 free agents just sign without meetings. Yes. But... Once we get to like day four, where we're at now, now it's now you got to meet with a few teams, mm-hmm. you know. So anyway, Devin Bush. What do we think of Devin Bush? I mean, he's okay. The first, he's the first round talent. That's that's the best part. You're yeah. probably getting him at a lower deal. He's a first round talent. I think he's a. I want to say he's more of a run stuffer than a than a pass yeah. kind of guy. Well, right? Hicks has been. Uh, well, Hicks is a run guy too more so. which it, which gets me because like I said I play DB and I always depreciate those high price hookers so that's what we call the linebackers <laughs> high price hookers we've all now, linebackers we've now, we've so, now covered underwear no, well, so, so, so you know they, they responsible for the hook area. I thought that was a Malik hooker no thing, like but. 10 so you get hook drops is 10 yeah. to 12 yard cover okay. three 10 to 12 yards one yard outside the hash and if you get there and and help a DB yeah. in that dig window, you are called a high price hooker. Wait a second, we got to ask some questions on this. Number so all the linebackers or just the linebackers that helped in those situations were called the high. ones that did their job. They yeah. got to ten to twelve you yards. High price, high price hooker. Why high priced? Because they they doing their job which other linebackers get enticed by play action and stuff. Okay. So like if they go diving in there, yeah. not at dig are window. Those guys low red open. hookers. No, you just call them. A, they're Jags. Uh, that's jags. very dismissive. Yeah. Calling somebody a Jag. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. It, it, so, uh, back, point, of the, point of the story yeah. is Taki Taki was considered a high-priced hooker. Okay. He was. And, he, and Devin Bush does is he not. Does he know this? Does he that's know what, I would, that's what we would have called him. Oh, you know, back this is Seattle turns high price hooker. So <laughs> Devin Bush is not a high price hooker. No, because he's a he's a run stopper. I don't know how he is against the pass. I've never really seen him make a play on the ball in the passing game, but I have seen him come up and hit some stuff. Boom! So that's great there. Um, I mean, yeah, like I say, he's a first round talent. Is he my first choice? No, I always I still say Jerome Baker, the touchdown maker from Benedictine that went to the Buckeyes, go right. Bucks, would be my first choice. Him and JOK together, same athletic ability, it would be magical there. But I'm not Andrew Barry, so I would take Devin Bush, who was a yeah. first round talent. And Devin Bush is a young player. He's 25 years old. And you know they and love. Tur- you know they like young guys. Yep, he'll turn 26 this summer. He's a Michigan man. I know. What do you think of that? I know. Uh, played 13 games last year, 17 the year before, 14 the year before, and five the year before that. So he's missed a decent amount of time due to injury. Only started three games in Seattle last year. Played in 13 total. We saw the the rest of the numbers. I mean, you know, whether they sign him, I mean, he's just – he's a veteran. He's fine. Yeah. I, it doesn't excite me. He's more like a Newark hooker, not really a Vegas hooker. <laughs> <laughs> Got a gunshot wound. <laughs> Maybe a neck tattoo. He's more like Camden. He's more like a Camden hunker. Or she. He. Um, 
All right. There you go uh, with Devin Bush. Bush. <laughs> what else you got on Devin Bush, Mike? You excited about Devin uh, Bush? <clears throat> yeah, I am. I mean, excited might not be the right word. Jerome Baker, I think in a perfect world, is a, a better player and fits a little better next to Jordan Hicks and uh, the other linebackers they have, JOK and Diabate and Tony Fields. But at the end of the day, he does add a level of athleticism. I know he had some knee issues coming out of college in his first year with Pittsburgh, but he was an athletic freak. And once again, Tyrus, I just want to say thank you. Steve, take tag board full again. <laughs> again? This, is, this is one of Anthony's new jobs on the show is to turn weird quotes into uh, tag boards and <laughs> quote fact. boards. So, Tyvis. Two for two. It's a two fact. Two. That's a great listen. People going to read that and they're going to say, what is he talking about? <laughs> and then you'll hear, like, that's football terminology right there. So I just put you inside a locker room of what you call a hook dropper that does uh, his job correctly. The hook dropper. Two classic quotes today, all-time quotes. Hey. 